This is one of the more interesting news stories I was talking about. Sony imagines a future where a banana is a video game controller. This is from Kotaku. Gamers make a, <laughs> love making weird shit into controllers, including but not limited to pomegranates, lightsabers, bananas, and bread. When was a pomegranate? That's weird. Okay. That's cool. Uh, what else? Okay, so apparently Sony wants to get in on the action. According to a patent recently surfaced by Game Industry Biz, that details a method for turning household objects into controllers. Oh, shit. I thought this new story was going to be about just like a sh controller shaped into a banana, like shaped like a banana, but they're actually thinking about using a banana as a controller, which sounds really crazy to me. Sony filed a patent for, uh, for a means of detecting a passive non-luminous object being held by a user and turning it into a video game controller. It would uh, be desirable for, if a user could use any inexpensive, simple, and non-electronic device as a video game peripheral. The patent uh, reads saying that we're all thinking, uh, that we are all thinking it, uh, well, we're, oh, sorry, saying what we're all thinking, okay. Uh, it cities, uh, as example, options such as one orange or one banana or two oranges or a banana or bananas. A couple could, a camera could detect the items so they could be used as controllers, or a camera could detect uh, a user, user's fingers in the uh, obtained images to coincide with the location of the virtual button. So I'm guessing, they're, so, sorry, I read that terribly. So I'm guessing they're, they're saying that uh, there would be a camera involved that could see you pressing on the banana. And that, like, I guess they would know the distance between your finger and the banana and they would be able to uh, figure out when you touch the banana and that's when they would that's when the camera would realize you've inputted uh something on the banana and then they would it register into the game where it would like let's say if you're playing a sh first person shooter it would probably shoot most likely shoot like a gun or something to coincide with the location of the virtual button Okay, so there's location of a virtual button, so you have to hit a specific spot of the banana. In images attached to the patent, there, uh, this basically means mapping a virtual button onto a banana in case you wanted to be awkwardly poke the banana instead of swinging it around, okay? So yeah, if you look at this image right here, it shows an X and a triangle button, and that's where I guess they would set, set up that virtual button. I appreciate that Sony's ideal gamer has a bunch of fresh fruit around the house. That's funny. Uh, this is just a patent application, so who knows if it will ever become reality. My colleague Ethan, meanwhile, came up with his own version, <laughs> which you can <laughs> achieve right now and practically for free. Okay, so he just... <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. He just put a banana on top of PS4 controller, put the thumbsticks through it. <laughs> That's jokes. I think eventually we won't, we won't even have controllers. There'll be like virtual, like, like there'll be like, you know, like an Iron Man, like the, you know, like the, the, what am I trying to say? The holographic buttons, like the holographic screen. We'll eventually get to that point where we just have like a, like a controller, not even a, like a actual thing in our hand, like a virtual controller in our hand. And it'll just recognize whenever you press stuff. So I think we're getting to that point. Or even like we'll get to maybe a point where like there'll be implants, not implants, but like they'll put something, they'll put like a headset on top of your head, and it, you're, and you could be like, okay, my brain is deciding to move. I want this character to move. Let's look, let's say Call of Duty, uh, like my character, I want to start running now, and I want to shoot that person. Like, it'll just, it'll just take whatever your mind is saying, and it'll transmute it onto the onto the game itself. So you won't have any controllers. I, I think I think eventually it'll be like that. Eventually we'll be just in these worlds. It'll be kind of like the Matrix. We'll, we'll be in this world that's like totally realistic to us. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it'll just look like that. I was watching, you know, I was watching, I was watching Blade Runner 2049. I don't want to spoil things, but there's a, there's a character in that, in that movie. The game, the movie's obviously set in 2049. But there's a character in that movie. Uh, she creates, like, dreams for the replicants. So the replicants are like androids. So what they do is they put in, like, dreams and different, like not even it's like memories sorry it's memories they put in memories into these replicates so when they when they're born they're not just like this empty shell of a person so they have actual like memories that they can go back it's not their memories but it's other people's memories that they can go back and like you know feel like you know human about right 
Because if you give a, a robot that has no background to anything, they're going to be like, what is this? Why, why am I here? Well, like, I, there's nothing before me. Like, you know, it's, it's crazy to think about. But like, and so this girl, she uses this technology to create literally, there's like a huge white chamber. And she creates like everything with this this mechanism that creates memories, so she can uh, create like a virtual world in in that chamber, and she can implant that memory into anything. I think eventually we'll get to that technology point where we'll have these virtual worlds that we can we'll never escape from, which is kind of sad because human beings are obviously we're all about um, the least uh, we want. Uh, we want all the pleasure, but not the. We don't want to work for it, right? That's how we are as human beings, and uh, I think a lot of people are gonna get get stuck in these worlds. Like technology is just gonna it's gonna ruin us. It's gonna make our lives better, but it's also gonna ruin us in the end. Thank you for watching this clip of the roundup. I did the roundup every Thursday live at 5 p.m. and post it on YouTube right after. If you want to watch the full version uh, of the show. You can go to the YouTube channel, Cole underscore Drake 41, where you can watch the full video or you can watch more clips from this channel if you want to watch the whole video. Again, it's 30 minutes long. It's really long and most people are like, ah, 20 seconds in. They're like, ah, this is boring. Let me leave. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching and you guys have an amazing day.